Hey y'all, welcome back to Moonlight Hill Flower Farm. We're gonna do an update today on our goats. But look at these beautiful flowers. I know that's not part of the video. Kiss me off, it's kiss me over the back garden gate is what that is. It's a vine. Gary plant it. Here's some yarrow, some yarrow down there. Ain't that beautiful? Snapdragons are blooming over there. We got all kinds of dusty miller growing. Yellow balls is what I call these. And this here is Sweet Annie. I got some straw flower here. Some Cosmos. We got some um, nasturtiums here. These are the variegated ones. They're beautiful, guys. And look at all this eucalyptus I have. It's growing wild. Crazy stuff. And these vines here I got, these are Rubecchia vines. <laughs> I thought those were beautiful. I got a couple of those I'm going to plant that I got from seeing. Here's two hollyhocks. Rubecchia, it's blooming. Some more Cosmos. Some purple Nicarina bachelor buttons. Lemon mint. Daisies. Double-headed Cosmos. All kinds of guys stuff, guys. I got some more type of eucalyptus up here. And I gotta get planted. Look how gorgeous those are. They smell so beautiful. I got a rose bush here from Walmart for eight dollars and something. I need to get planted. <clears throat> some snaps that my kids got me. They're just snap dragons. Um. That one, and then this one is a pink with a yellow throat. It's really pretty. I got them for a buck for Mother's Day for me. And we have a whole tray of status here. Some yarrow, some vecchia, some pumpus grass, some vials of Ireland. Oh, we got some dahlias from seed here. We got white lace, um, or orlea is what that stuff's called here. This stuff here. And then this corn stuff here, if I'm not mistaken, that is, um, mm, let me think here, Joe's Jobs Tears or something like that. All right, then we got snaps, more yarrow, yarrow, another type of annual grass, pre-annual grass, actually, it comes back, it's called um, Frosted Explosion, and this grass is called Father Top feather top grass, s'more snaps, peppers, some more dusty miller, some more um, celosia, some petunia waves, some more um, status, and fever few right here. Here's some more Rebecca, some more snaps. All kinds of stuff, guys. And I got more stuff in the house. Here's some more Job's Tears. It's trying to look. This Rebecca is trying to bloom. And we have, I think, three or four different types of Rebecca. And if you don't know what Rebecca is, that is, um, I can't think now, y'all. But a lot of y'all, I'll put it on the screen. And then I have hibiscus here. I planted a lot of the stuff that was in here. This is Russian status. It's not growing too well. Then there's Delphinium. It's more status. I think I got every color in status. And then I grew these also. These are um, fox gloves. I made, I just planted two of them because I heard they won't grow the first year. I might grow plant some more seeds and put them somewhere for next year so they'll actually grow the next following years at Rebecca growing um, but just a little bit of everything guys but um and oh here's my piney also that I got growing that I started some lady told me I was growing it wrong and I said no ma'am I'm not this is how I've always done it you don't want to cover after your before your last eye 
and she told me that I'm supposed to bury it all the way up the stick almost and I was like no ma'am you don't so there it is it's growing great this is some more um Rebecca this is the black eyed, no it's a black eyed Susan is what Rebecca is and that's the type I'm growing right there one of them say Hera but yeah it's all kinds of stuff y'all i got some snaps growing which they need to get in the ground so they'll grow more and better stronger stems kind of late i've been really busy here's one about to bloom here there's one about to bloom there so i need to get them in the ground so they can get stronger thicker stems and more blooms because they're just in these little bitty pots right here so yeah so here soon you'll be seeing all this plus more flowers. We're doing dahlia tubers, zinnias. I got a bunch more in there I need to harden off. It'll all be going out here soon, guys, all out in the flower farm. So make sure you all subscribe and like and share. This is Moonlight. This is what we named our um, farm after, guys. And it is spa day. It's time to trim hooves, which they don't look that bad. He's the one that had the, uh, this past winter, he had a little bit of a problem. Hoof rot, it was kind of like hoof rot. It would like freeze, abscess from being in water and ice coldness. Those look pretty. Get in between those toes. I'm still learning how to do this. A little bit. All right. Do you want to do the back one? Was this the one that had access? Okay. Damn, I'm recording her. Oh my God. You need to get not behind the goat. <laughs> they kick you, then it would be a bad deal. And you're a dumb cat. Get down. Get your cat down for it. <laughs> is haunted y'all <laughs> very haunted we've been told somebody's died in here of an overdose which I don't know if that's true we know that somebody lived here that did have an overdose but we don't know if he was actually in the garage when it happened and he passed away muddy muddy yuck yuck guys can't wait to get this farm built for them. And let's go right. <laughs> but anyways, they need their copper. I'm gonna show you how you need your copper. All right, <clears throat> see his tail, how it looks like a fish tail right here. It looks like a V. His hair is gone right here. That means he needs copper bad. Bad, bad. And, <laughs> and it's not shiny. I've never gotten his and hair right. It's got a reddish tint to it. Too. And it's got a reddish tint also, which he has a red tint to him, but mostly what I go by is the fishtail and there's no shine to it. I mean, there is some shininess. In places, but not like right here. Yeah, it's just in spots. He's got copper uh, condensacy or however you say that word. <laughs> I'm country, I don't know how to say stuff, right? <laughs> what we do here is, is we give them one copper every six months. Put a little bit of peanut butter in this. Ball gagger, pill gagger is what I call it. Keep the Here's the pill. It's a oh, copper yeah, pill. Sure. They have them for adults and kids. I have both. These are for the adults. They're a little bit bigger. And this peanut butter is just for them. <laughs> Get ready for this. I always let them sniff it and lick it. He's like, mm. This is the fun mm. part where I have to shove it down his throat. And then I'll tell Waylon when I'm ready. All right, ready. And he shoves it down his throat. And did you get it down? 
to that. Nope, nope, nope. Medium time. I think that would be that bad. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. Good for you. He always sucks to make sure there's nothing hard in it, too. Have you realized that with him? Yep. He likes selenium. Yeah, when you all give sodium. shots, guys, you gotta make sure all the bubbles out. You don't want bubbles getting in there. So I see a bubble, and I got it right at the top. There goes one out. There goes the other one. That's all of them. And then you just flick it. See, you shouldn't see nothing in there. No bubbles at all. All right, and when you give it to them, Matt, it's in their side right here. You want to come on this side? We do goats and flowers here, guys, so after we get done doing this, we got to go do some more flowers. And you want to put it right above their shoulder blade, and you want to pinch some skin here. All right, you see this needle here? You see how it has a thing that goes down over here? And then this side has the cut opening. This part, you want outwards. This part, it don't have the opening. It's just slim flat against his body. He's trying to tense up on me. All right, we're stuck it in. I always shake a little bit for him. His skin's tough anyway. <laughs> He's tensed up. And you just rub it. It's okay, Bubba. It's okay. I know. But that's all you do, guys, is you just stick it in and just make sure you get in. And if you can't get the liquid to go, because sometimes I used to be like, how do you get it? It won't go out. It's because you had you didn't have this hole inside of the skin. So you're pushing and the liquid ain't going in. Well, you have to move it up a little bit and then it'll go in. Because if you go in, if you don't get through all the way through the fat and that hole is clogged right there, it ain't gonna go in, guys. So I figured that out the hard way. Mm -hmm. Like I said, he's been my practice goat and I feel so bad for him. <laughs> but he's a tough guy and I love him. He's a good goat. He's a very good goat for my first goat. Ain't you boy. All right, guys, that's it, guys. Until next time, guys, have a fantastic day. Bye.